two. Julie receives three pounds pocket money every week. How much money did she have after five weeks? So Julie received three pounds pocket money every week. How much money did she have after five weeks? Let's use our three steps. Step one, numbers. Julie has three pounds pocket money every week. How much did she have after five weeks? My answer is going to be over here. Step two, things. What are the three things? Well, they're pounds. What are the five things? How much money did she have after five weeks? And what will the answer be? Will it be pounds or weeks? Well, we're talking about how much money she'll have. So it's pounds. Step three, same or different? Pounds, weeks, pounds. So there's a difference. They're not all pounds and they're not all weeks. They're pounds and weeks. So it's not addition or subtraction. We need to have a look at the flowchart. Okay, we had a look at the things and they weren't the same, they were different. What we have to ask ourselves now is, will the answer be more than both numbers or less than one of the numbers? Is the answer more than both numbers or less than one of the, one of the numbers? Right, will the answer be more than both the numbers or less? than one of the numbers. So if we draw it, it will give us a clue. So Julie saves three pounds every week. How much does she have after five weeks? Well, here are my five weeks. One, two, three, four, five. And she saves three pounds every week. We've got five lots of three there. Is the answer going to be more than three? Well, definitely, because we've got more than one three. Is the answer going to be more than five? Well, yes, because we've got five there with three in each one. Five lots of three. The answer is going to be bigger than both numbers. So, we're multiplying. 3 times 5 is 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 